going on guys it's Steve Fantasy here back with another video and today we're gonna be doing a follow-up video uh, a follow -up video from my last video uh, I'll leave a link on the screen in the description it was the, the plunder patrol uh, deck showcase for uh, February 2020 um, uh, so yeah guys this is gonna be the deck profile hopefully you guys enjoyed that video if you guys didn't definitely check it out and let me know in the comment section down below um, if you guys liked it and uh, stay tuned for this video. Hope, um, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy this one as well. If you do, thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And let's get straight on into the video. Uh, Plunder Patrol for February 2020. What are we playing? So, um, first of all, it's a 44 card list. Um, we definitely want to try to go first, you know, because uh, this deck kind of struggles against back row, to be honest, uh, in my opinion, at least. Um, so, uh, that's why we main specific cards for, you know, uh, going against back row, obviously, but, but yeah, anyways, let's get straight into the deck profile. So, 44 cards in the main, starting off with Pankertops, uh, Pankertops is always, is, like, honestly, ever since I've seen this in the deck profile, um, um, I think, shout out to 3 stacks, um, ever since I've seen him play it. Uh, I was like, you know, that's definitely a good idea in case you're forced to go second. I know this deck can OTK, but you know, it's just a, it's just a, like an extra backup protection. And Panker Tops could always uh, either force out a negation or be a two for one. So it's it's always good, you know. So I always decided to main it. Uh, next we play um, uh, Double Skullmeister. We could you could play three if you want to bump it up to 45. You don't have to, uh, but two Skullmeister. Um, uh, just for hand traps and it's also a graveyard reliant format so a lot of things trigger in the graveyard like drytron you know bentan stuff like that um, 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 next we play triple white beard um, triple white beard and triple red beard red be uh, white beard is the one uh, when he gets sent from hand or field to a uh, main monster zone sorry to grave he's just uh, floats into another plunder monster of any of your choice and this one does the exact same thing except it equips itself uh, from the it's it equips itself to a plunder monster, so that's good. And they both have the effects on during your opponent's turn. Uh, as a quick effect, you could uh, special summon a plunder monster from your extra deck as with the same attribute as your opponent controls. Um, and then um, as a monster it controls or is in their graveyard, and then you equip the the card to it. So. Uh, this could this will equip itself and then this obviously equips itself too so uh, yep uh, the next new one actually we've been playing uh, which is Ravenwing Ravenwing is actually pretty nutty so he's actually not only a he could be a starter as well as an extender more so an extender for like late game he's better late game for sure uh, when, a, when a lot of your resources are, resources are in your graveyard so um, what he does is you can you can target a planner monster in your graveyard um, special, special sum. Oh, and a lot of plunder monsters as well. So keep that in mind. Um, so you target a plunder monster in your graveyard. Uh, special summon Ravenwing, and then add the target that you targeted in the graveyard back to your hand. So you could add something. And so, and what else? What else is cool about it is it doesn't take up your normal summon, which is nice. So um, you could you could activate this, target something like uh, um, a white beard. Special summon this, add back the white beard to your hand. Normal summon the white beard and go into a Moark or a black beard, and then f uh, float into something else with white beard, you know? Which is pretty nice. So, uh, yeah. Um, and his second effect, uh, it doesn't come up much, but uh, when you get sent from the hand or main monster zone to the grave, um, you could t you could target a sp um, plunder monster in your spell and trap zone and special summon it. So, it could come up often, but it hasn't come up really for me, so. Uh, yeah, also don't don't forget about that effect either. <laughs> Next we play uh, Triple Bluebeard. Um, he's just uh, he's just a free extender, so free special summon. He's a level four. He can get access to rank fours or the next one with golden hair. Since he's a tuner, um, it can make your level eight level eight synchro place. So that's good. And also, if it gets discarded from your hand or sent from main monster zone, you discard a card and draw. So if you have any extra copies of cards you don't need, like an extra Ash or something, you can always discard that stuff for an extra draw, right? So, that's pretty good. Uh, Golden Hair Tuner, level 4. You could send up another Plunder Monster from, uh, from your 
hand to the or face up from the field to the grave. Special summon it. Um, and then if this card's in your graveyard, you can discard a plunder card. Uh, and uh, sorry, you can discard a card and special summon it, but it locks you into plunders. So when it's in your hand, you have to discard specifically a plunder card. A plunder, you, could, you have to send a plunder monster from your hand or grave, or sorry, from your hand or field. But when it's in the graveyard, you can discard anything. But it locks you into plunder monsters, so that's good. Uh, again, another free extender, so it's nice. Um, next, triple ash blossom. Uh, it's just generic hand trap, so it hits it hits everything basically. So I played at three. Um, next is two ghost bell. Again, same thing for skullmeister. I uh, just put two and two for uh, variety. You could add the third one of each uh, of one of them if you want, or you could add a third desires if you'd like. So. Uh, but yeah, Skullmeister, uh, uh, Skullmeister and Ghost Spell. Go, um, graveyard Reliant Format again for Drytrons and Ben 10 and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty good against Rogue decks too, to be honest, so not too bad. Um, yeah, that's it for the monsters. Next onto the spells, we play 1 Harpy's Feather Duster, 2 Desires. Again, you could buff this up to 3 if you'd like. Um, triple Plunder Patrol, Ship Shape, Ship Shaping. Try saying that 10, 10 times fast. Uh, this is just a Fusion Spell. And then... Um, um, you fuse, and if it's in this, this is in your graveyard, you can banish it, target a plunder monster on the field, and equip it with an emblem or a plunder monster. So, it's pretty good. Uh, terraforming, just to get more access to your field spell. Triple cosmic, because we're in a back, back row heavy format. Um, one call by the grave, because you don't want to get you caught with your pants down, <laughs> because Ash, man, Ash, oof. Let me just tell you, hand traps are annoying. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I definitely want to play the one called the Grave. Konami, please bring that back to three. Um, next, Emblem. So, equip it to a, a Plunder Monster, it gains 500 attack. And your opponent cannot target it with card effects, so it's you can't target it with Imperm. You can't, you know, Unicorn it, Spin it, tar, you know, Nightmare Service, pop a monster, whatever. So, it's good. And it also, you can, you can, um, you can send this, the equip, this equip spell from, your, from their spell traps onto the Grave. And special plunder monster from your extra deck with uh, an attribute that is on the field or in the graveyard. So this one specifically doesn't um, um, force you to force your opponent to have a specific attribute where you could just have something in your graveyard and it, you could special something from your extra deck with that specific attribute, right? So that's another good thing about emblem. So I play that three as well. Uh, and then the, the field spell triple shipyard. Uh, discard a card, add a plunder, so you can use this for extension. So discarding a white beard, discarding a blue beard for extra draw, uh, red beard to equip, make your extra deck monsters uh, quick effects on your opponent's turn, stuff like that. And when it's in the graveyard, you can bounce back a pl uh, plunder card from your spell and trap zone to your hand to reset itself back from the graveyard, which is nutty. So that card, that 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 if this effect is is insane. Um, next is actually a card. Um, I didn't get to use much in the replays, but I, I, um, I definitely thought about playing it, and um, I looked into it. It was really good. Um, but uh, Pride of the Plunder Patrol, um, if your plunder, if your plunder patrol monsters destroys opponent's monster by battle, you draw a card. So, um, this is not only free draws to get you f potential fuel for your extra deck monsters. Uh, by potentially drawing into plunder cards for dis for discard fodder for them, but um, you can also not, um, send this card from your hand. For, sorry, send this card from your face face up from your field to the grave, and you can choose to one of the following effects. So your opponent draws a card, then you look at their hand and send one monster from it to the grave, which is disgusting because you get hand knowledge. And uh, two, the second effect is look at your opponent's extra deck and send one monster from it to the graveyard. So this single-handedly outs Dragoon. So if you know that they're playing Dragoon in game two and three, you definitely and you're you're not playing this in the main. You definitely add this in um, because this single-handedly outs Dragoon. Um, this deck has a really hard time. Um, pl uh, dra pretty much has no no out to Dragoon because he can't target it. You have to um, get your field spell up with a bunch of equips to beat over it. But and by the time that happens. Um, he'll probably burn you to death with Dragoon. So, this is if you guys definitely want an out to Dragoon, definitely play Pride of the Plunder Patrol. This card is definitely, definitely 100% underrated. 
um, and uh, I'm glad I put it in here because it definitely it definitely helps you know especially if you if you, if you find a hard if you have yourself if you find it hard to manage your resources and keep resources in your hand um, then this stuff this definitely lets you add back cards um, um, depending on how many monsters you destroy by battle right so because it doesn't specifically um, list it doesn't say once per turn so it's be, as long as you keep um, destroying monsters and it's on face up on the field you're drawing cards man so <laughs> uh, and then next triple booty this is just you know um, attribute uh, manipulator and then it revives back or shuffles back a planar monster from your graveyard so that's nice uh, that's it for the main deck 44 cards next we play two lease monster negator and it special summons a plunder monster from your spell and trap zone during the main phase as a quick effect which is nice um, uh, a dragite for spell trap negator because we don't play Nibiru so we can't use the bounce effect anymore but uh, yeah spell and trap negate um, triple brand this is banished the spells and traps and, and it becomes a quick effect when it's equipped with the plunder card and then when you do when you do banish you can add a plunder monster from your deck to your hand um, next we play Bahamut Shark, Dweller for Graveyard, Bahamut Shark for the Toad. Um, double more, this is uh, rank 4, it banishes monsters by discarding a plunder card. And it is also a quick effect when it's equipped with a plunder card. Um, you discard a plunder card, banish a card, and then you add a spell and trap. A plunder spell or trap from your deck to your hand, um, which is nice. And when it, if a plunder card you would, uh, would be destroyed, you, it has the Ding Gears to effect where you just detach. It doesn't activate, and you can do it more than once, so that's nice. Um, then again, Toad for negation, triple Blackbeard because he's um, he's insane. Um, two plunder, uh, two monsters, including Plunder Monster, quick effect, the target one effect monster you control, special Plunder Monster from your extra deck with the same attribute as the monster your opponent controls or is in the grave, and if you do, equip the targeted monster to the special summon monster from the extra deck that you summoned. And then you draw a card. So again, this is depending on if you like. Let's say you have a morgue that's that has nothing equipped to it. You can target himself, equip him to the morgue, draw a card, and potentially get discard fodder for morgue to then in, to then pitch off for morgue and vanish a card in removal. You know, so that's nice. Uh, Bujinti Ahashima. This is just a free rank four, which is insane. And uh, if um, if a uh, Xyz monster detaches material. While it's under the zone, it points to it just free pop, pop spell and trap, which is uh, which is pretty good. So yep, and uh, Almirage. So that's it for the extra deck. Down here is just some um, other cards you can play. Uh, just I just in the side deck, I don't specifically make a specific side deck for these videos. It's just some ideas for you guys to try out. So Kaiju's in case you know you don't see get access to early access or open up booty. This just gives you more. Um, um, this gives you specific attributes depending on what kaiju you open to um, manipulate the opponent's attributes, right? So, kaiju's droll unlocks, droll unlock. You could even main trolls if you'd like. Dark rulers for vanity's ruler, screw that card. <laughs> Triple evilly for going for second. Uh, reboot again for going second and trap heavy decks and solemn strikes. But yeah, guys, that's it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And definitely go check out uh, uh, Three Stacks. He has he also has a, a plunder deck list on his uh, channel. And he's a big advocate for this deck. So shout out to you, buddy. And uh, yeah, guys. Um, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.